Leo versus Milia Rage action. Let's see what we got. Game one. All right. Oh my gosh, yeah, Luna wanted to get out of the pressure as early as possible to uh, deter against the Leo Snowball. First did it, did not make any contact, but I mean, at the end of the day, did not get punished too much for it, so maybe a uh, not too bad uh, risk there. Okay, able to confirm out the full jump in, counter hit conversion. Yeah, Ramus put that burst early, so they got to eat the entirety of this combo. Wall break situation, you do not want to be in a hard knockdown with a uh, gaming Milia Rage in front of you. Okay, she's building up that tension slowly but surely. Is she gonna be able to spend it and how? Oh my god, that was clutch! Yeah, held on to that far slash in order to get the uh, guard point available for the anti air. That was a very uh, good recognition there from Rama. Oh, yo, I thought that was. Uh, uh, you know what? If that was full charge dust, I'm just gonna guarantee that would hit. Yeah, that, that was the last thing I expected from the air to ground. Uh, dust. <laughs> I got hit. <laughs> All right, tandem top PRC. Oh my God! Yeah, oh, that's that's uh unfortunate there. You know, spent the PRC meter is so valuable in this game and didn't really get much off of it. I was expecting a wall break. I think Luna was as well. Oh my God! Yeah, I just kind of got caught in the crosshairs there. The crosshairs being that back turn slash from Leo, controlling the mid range space and sealing the deal on the first round here from uh, Rama. Oh, we're going to character stock. Hello. Nagori Yuki. No, Luna. Luna, not like this. We're getting more Nagori Yuki. What is going on? Yo, top top one anime betrayal over here. This is our, I, I, I said earlier, this is our resident Milia player. I, I don't think, I, I don't know if I've seen any other Milias here at Game Lab. You'll think you strive. Even our resident Milia player is being tempted by the fate of Nagori Yuki. I mean, it, it's not a bad pick. This is, this is, this is playing the Riverside Game Lab meta. I'm just, uh, look, I'm not shocked. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> not really. I I'm interested to see how Luna's uh, Nago Yuki approaches the matchup here. I mean, Rama definitely has the experience against uh, Nago time and time again. Okay. Unfortunately, as it uh, appears in this match, the Nago Yuki pick not really shaping up the momentum. Rama is still kind of dictating the pace. Wall break. Activated, Rama, long have we awaited, positive region bonus. Oh, throw PRC from super far away. Just the jab check, gonna be able to steal it from Rama. Yeah, so I'm curious about uh, Luna's decision making here for this swap, exactly what they wanna do with it. Uh, it looks like they're still trying to figure out how to navigate around things here. Playing two characters can be such a hard challenge to maintain. Oh, the throw, but your blood, dude, your blood. Oh, no, 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 no. Son, he just did it? I respect it, I respect it. <laughs> oh my god, please, please, be careful. Or maybe not, I don't know. Yo, don't, don't, don't block anything. Oh my god, yeah, off the Beyblade. That was very rough of a call there from Luna Goodgal after that blood pop and what happened afterwards. Oh, they're committed to it though. So Luna not gonna be swapping back to the Milia. They picked Nagariyuki for a reason. They want to show off why. Okay. Um, oh man. So I'm liking the ideology of Luna playing more of that buttonsy mid-range control game. That definitely can be a significant factor. To Ooh! <laughs> I was like, why didn't he burst punish? He said, "Fool! I want to drain my blood gauge. I'm gonna dash up a command throw. What do you think this is?" <laughs> okay. Luna showing some- Oh my gosh, as soon as an approach was made, Rama saying they're willing to risk it for the biscuit. How dare you try to get some pressure? Rama pushing to the corner as the meter build. No, oh, yeah, dude, Rama's jab checks in this matchup have been insane. Just the two-way, two-way confirm. That time had the RC in order to get oh my god, nice burst safe conversion. They did it at a height to where uh it was gonna kill if Luna didn't burst, and it was gonna burst bait if Luna did burst. Very good knowledge there from Rama as they're looking to close out the match. Luna showing a little bit of signs of life with his Naga Ryuki. I'm liking what they're doing. They just need to make a way for it to equal in rounds. I love that PRC backwards, but didn't have the whiff punish available. Good idea, not proper execution, but we definitely have those command throws on deck time and time again. Luna, could this be? Yes, it is. The Luna good gal Naga Ryuki round. All right, here we go. All right, Luna's entire tournament life really kind of 
um, stacked on this Naga Ryuki here, the burden of winning. Oh, no, Oki just gonna be thrown into the corner. This is not where you wanna be against Leo White Thing. As the pressure is building up. Getting the wall conversion. Catches with the low. Doesn't have any meter to get any uh, knockdowns, but this is still gonna be positive bonus and good momentum here for Rama as it's just so. <laughs> almost got the shimmy there, the PRC saving Luna's life. Can this Naga Ryuki pick be beneficial here for Luna as things are starting to close down? Yeah, can't not really spend any specials. That blood gauge is like nearly max. Rama recognizes it and it's gonna force Luna to commit. Yeah, R Rama is just like, look, I have this massive life lead. You literally cannot do any specials. I'm just gonna chill. And there it is, gonna be able to get it all together. Rama getting the 3-0 victory.